more about all of that. Hello. <laughs> well, we have had some really unsettled weather. It's not out of the question, and one of our weather presenters in South Wales said that one of his friends reported a tornado as well, just off the coast of South Wales. So it's definitely one to watch as we head through the coming days. And talking of pictures out to sea, well, we've had this beautiful picture sent in from Tim in Margate. Shower clouds developing off the coast there, and there are further showers in today's forecast, all still spiralling around a deep area of low pressure. Heavy showers this morning across the southeast. A band of heavy rain sitting across northern areas of England. And if we pick out the one place in Cumbria, Blencarthur, they've had 29 millimetres of rain already today. Compare that to what we should have for the whole of April. That's around about a third already in just one day. So still more wet weather in the forecast through the rest of today. Still gusty winds to be had across much of Northern Ireland and into northwest Scotland as well. Interspersed with some sunny spells and some scattered showers, but gusts of wind here to 30 or 40 miles an hour. The persistent rain continues to feed in across northeastern areas of Scotland. Further hill snow in the forecast as well. But our weather front still bringing further rain across northern England, particularly Lancashire through the afternoon and into northwest Wales. With the cloud and the persistent rain and the breeze, a cool afternoon for some, temperatures no higher than 9 or 10 degrees. Then to the south of our band of rain, it's sunshine and showers. Southwest England, the West Midlands in particular. The difference to yesterday is that with lighter winds, they'll be slower moving. If you catch one, it'll be with you for a while. Hail and thunder again likely, so a lot of spray on the roads. The southeast having a breezy end, but a bright end to the day. And overnight tonight, those showers gradually will tend to ease off. The south sticks with a band of rain, cloudy but mild. In the north, though, it gradually turns a little bit colder, a touch of frost first thing tomorrow, even a little bit icy. So it's a bright start for Scotland and Northern Ireland tomorrow, but the northerly wind feeds in colder air, sunny spells and showers, some of them falling as snow across the high ground. Through central areas, still cloudy, but in the south, further heavy showers. And as we look ahead to the weekend, well, high pressure's trying its hardest to build, but it looks like this low pressure area will win out. And what that does is brings more rain, more wet weather as we head into the weekend. Perhaps not starting off too badly. Saturday's sunny spells and scattered showers, but by Sunday it turns cloudy, wet and windy for many of us. So I think Brol is at the ready. We are going to need them. Any sign of sunshine in the not too distant I'll future? See you next week. Next week. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Thank you very much, Laura. A reminder now 